In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you three methods for basic title animation. This comes as a request from one of my subscribers. I have on the screen two tracks. The first one is my Canyon video on track one, and on track three I have a title I've created. What I would like to do is animate it in a very simple way. We'll show you three ways to do that. First way to get into it is I need to be in the title designer so I can either double click on it or I can press the F2 function key once it's highlighted and I get into the title designer. Let's animate this title. One simple way you can do that is to go to the animation tab at the top on the left. We have an in animation and an out animation. They work identically. We're going to click on the triangle by in animation and open up all my options. You notice a default start is no effect in this box with the axis marked blue. That means I have no animation. Now I want to track the animation better than simply looking at the box. So what I'm going to do is open up the panel at the bottom on the advanced option and this will open up my title and my other keyframes. We're just going to focus on the title in this section of the tutorial. You notice we have a light uh, green blue option in the middle and we have a darker on the left and a darker on the right. When I hover over either of these this is my in animation and out animation. The default is no effect. It's the same thing we have up here in this box. So there is no animation. Let's try a couple of simple ways to animate. Now there are other ways in which we can animate besides position which we'll focus on. You can click on any of these and it will give you an instant look at what that would do. So we can have all these kinds of interesting ways in which we can make our title appear. But we're focusing on simple motion in this tutorial, so I'm going to go down to the section called Slide. And when I'm in the Slide section, and these are alphabetical, you notice I have four options, down, left, right, and up. If I'm going to simply slide this down from the top, I click on Slide Down, and it will slide this down. Now the animation you see now is not the speed at which you'll see it once we activate it. It's just your example. Likewise, I can slide it from the right, I can slide it up, and I can move it in slide to the left. So there, the, there we have our four simple directions. And when you're looking at simple title animation in most professional elements, they basically go horizontal and vertical. So these are four simple ways you can do that. Let's take the slide left. Now I'll click twice on it. That will activate it. And now the slide left is going to slide in from the left. Let's play this and we're going to see there it comes in. And you notice it's slower than the sample speed. Why? Because this area here, the duration of this area, you notice I have a six second duration right now. That controls how long it will take to come in from the right side of the screen. Let's take this and move it to a second and a half, roughly. I've got a marker there. And we'll go back to the beginning. And you notice I just speeded it up by twice. So that's how you control the duration on the slide in or slide out, up, down, left, or right. Now there's one thing you have to be aware of. Once you've done editing in the title designer, if you take your title on the main timeline, and you make it shorter or longer. It will change the timing here. It will proportionately keep it the same to whatever the new length is, but it won't be the, the, exactly the same in seconds. So if you want to make sure it's precise that way, this isn't the method that you want to use. And again, if you want to remove that, let's make it longer so we have more area to, to play with. You notice now it says I have slide left activated you want to remove it, all you simply do is move to the top, double click on no effect, it will reset it, and now I see I have no effect there. So that's a very simple way that you can use just four of these controls in the animation tab to move it up, left, down, or right. Now the advantage is you don't have to position your text off the screen. It automatically does that for you. The disadvantage is if you change your title length, it's going to change your timing a little bit. That's method number one. Let's look at method number two. Uh, method number two, I'm going to go back to no effect. And now what we're going to do is click on our motion tab at the top. 
Again, we're looking at basic simple motions, not some of the complex pictures you see on the left side. And we have a basic vertical, we have a basic horizontal. Let's do a vertical one. I'll click on that, and now this looks quite different. What's going on here? Well, let's play this and see what happens. I play this, I'm going to see it come down from the top, and this is a lot slower because it's taking the entire duration of my title. It moves to my first keyframe, and then it moves to whatever value it assigned to my second keyframe, and it's pretty consistent in this way, and then it moves to the last keyframe, which happens to be off the screen. So actually what it does in this case, unlike the other one, is it sets keyframes. Now if I change the zoom, I'm going to see it took my title, it put it way up here, and it slides it down. Now if I want to control where, where this is going to show up, left or right, I simply take my, my mouse and I hover over one of the borders and I drag and I can tell where I want it to come down from in my horizontal or vertical axis, whatever I'm working with now. And so I could take the title here and now when I play it, it will come down on the left side of my screen. The other thing I can do is, now that it set keyframes for me with these areas open, I can take the right arrow, arrow on position and jump all the way to the last keyframe. Then I can right click on that and say remove keyframe. It's off the recording screen here. But now my last keyframe will be this one here. And so it will stop here rather than go off the screen. I can also highlight any of the keyframes and move with the mouse and reset where these keyframes are and I can change the speed of the animation quite a bit. So if I play the same thing again using this technique with the simple vertical, it comes down to the first keyframe and it speeds up to the second keyframe. And I can remove any of these keyframes and modify them as much as I want. But this gives you simple horizontal and vertical. These other ways you can also use. They're a lot more complex. We won't deal with them in this tutorial. I'm going to cancel all of this. Click on No, and now we're, we're going to go back to what my favorite will be. I'm going to get back into my Title Designer, method number three, and use my own keyframes. To do this, a simple way I find to do that is take, take it simply and drag it off the screen if I want it to come on. And let's go uh, up higher. And then with the playhead, I have to make sure it's at the very beginning. I'll set a position keyframe. And if I want to go into my object settings over here, that will give me the X and Y values of my title. Now if I want to move it horizontally and make sure it is level, there's two ways I can do that. First way is just take the right arrow key and I'm going to drag the right arrow key over. But before I do that, I just made a very common beginner's mistake. I have to set a different keyframe. I have to move my keyframe indicator somewhere else. Let's move it over about a second and a half. And now I'm going to move it with the arrow key. And I'll move it onto the screen so it'll be in the dark left area of this canyon. And we'll have this as our contrast behind our text. I move it and when I let go, there it is. And if I look here, this, this is the XY value at this location. And so let's play this for fun. We simply play it and I manually moved it. Again, the farther apart the keyframes are, the slower the motion, the closer together, the faster the apparent motion. I'm going to remove this keyframe here. and We'll start here again. I can just take the mouse and move it manually, but if I do that I have to remember my Y value if I want it to be horizontal. So I'll drag it over, let's say I want it to go over here. Okay, what was it in the other one? I forgot. I'll do the left arrow. It's 290 move to the right and I'll reset this manually by putting in 290 and now I know it will be perfectly horizontal. So when we go across now it's got farther to go and there is my third way. 
So you can use your own keyframes. You can use some of the motion option and modify those keyframes, or you can use one of the simple animations using the slide controls to do basic animation and movement of text on the screen in PowerDirector.